हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टोटल डेरिवेटिव्स एंड इलोर्स थ्योरम लेट अस लर्न फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस व्हाट इज टोटल डेरिवेटिव्स सो इफ जेड इज ए फंक्शन ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई दैट इज ए टू वेरिएबल फंक्शन देन the total derivative of z is given by dz is equal to del f by del x into dx plus del f by del y into dy this is the exact derivative of that of function that function is given by z is equal to f of x y that is a two variable function similarly we can find out the functions of more than two variable that is let it be three variable then what should be the total derivative of that of function so similarly if z is a function of x y and t then the exact derivative of sorry the total derivative of z is equal to del f by del x into dx plus del f by del y into dy plus del f by del t into dt that is the representation of total derivative of a function of three variable that function is given as z is equal to f of x y and t this is the representation way through which we represent any functions of more than one variable we can find out the total derivative of that of given function so now we discuss euler's theorem and how by using euler's theorem we solve some problems related to partial derivatives let's discuss first of all we write the statement of euler's theorem and then prove that euler's theorem statement so first we write what is euler's theorem the statement if u is a homogeneous function of degree n in x and y in x and y then euler's theorem is we can write x into del u by del x plus y into del u by del y is equal to n into u this is the euler's theorem if u is a homogeneous function the point is that u is a homogeneous function of a degree n in x and y then what is that of euler's theorem the euler's theorem is x into del u by del x plus y into del u by del y is equal to n into that of function that is the degree of that of homogeneous function then multiplied by with that of function so let us prove that euler's theorem 
we can easily prove this by using the concept of homogeneous function so proof as u is a homogeneous function of degree n in x and y u is a homogeneous function of degree n that is the homogeneous function of degree n in x and y then we can write u is a homogeneous function of degree n let we come on x to the power n n is the degree of that homogeneous function that is a function of y by x that is a function of in terms of x and y or we can also write it as u is equal to y to the power n that is a function of y by x or sorry like that of x by y in this way we can represent this so del u by del x we differentiate it with respect to x as the partial derivatives n into x to the power n minus 1 phi y by x phi the function of y by x plus that is the first term the derivative of first term second term as constant then the derivative of second term and first term taken as constant that is x to the power n is constant and derivative of second term that is phi dash y by x into minus y by x square this is the derivative of that of second term multiplied x on both sides x into del u by del x is equal to n x to the power n phi of y by x minus x to the power n minus 1 y phi dash y by x at the equation number 1 x multiplied that means x to the power n plus 1 minus 2 that change to x to the power n minus 1 x to the power n the denominator x square similarly for y when you differentiate with respect to y what happens Similarly, del u by del y is equal to x to the power n phi y by x into 1 by x or del u by del y is equal to x to the power n minus 1 into phi dash y by x. When you multiplied y on both sides, del u by del y is equal to x to the power n minus 1 into y into phi dash y by x. That is equation number 2. Now add equation 1 and 2. Adding equation 1 and 2 we have x into del u by del x plus y into del u by del y is equal to x sorry that is n into x to the power n phi of y by x this is nothing but we can write x into del u by del x 
plus y into del u by del y is equal to n into u. This is the function as we taken as before. So this is the proof of our Euler's theorem. Again I repeat, what is that of Euler's theorem? The Euler's theorem was if u is a homogeneous function of degree n in x and y, then the Euler's theorem is x into del u by del x plus y into del u by del y is equal to n into u. So we can easily prove it by using the concept of homogeneous. How we can prove it? As u is a function of degree n in x and y, we write it as u is equal to x to the power n phi y by x, then differentiate with respect to x and multiplied x on both sides that becomes this form and we taken as equation number 1. Again, we differentiate that function with respect to y and multiplied y on both sides that equation change to this that is equation number 2. We add equation 1 and 2 and we find out our results looks like this. So, now taken as uh, take uh, one of the example in which we apply Euler theorem and find out our solution. The question is question number 1 that is the question if u is equal to sin inverse x square plus y square divided by x plus y prove that x into del u by del x plus y into del u by del y is equal to tan u. We have to prove this. So, that also is in the form of Euler's theorem. First of all, we find out either that function is homogeneous or not. If that function is homogeneous, then we apply our condition of Euler's theorem. So, how to solve that one? Let us see. Let f is a function, f is equal to sin u, that is x square plus y square divided by x plus y, which implies that means when we take a take common x square on both sides on numerator and denominator that uh, looks like this 1 plus y square divided by x square divided by x whole into 1 plus y by x that is x into phi y by x this is in the form here n equal to 1 x to the power 1 that is x to the power n phi of y by x that is the form of Euler's theorem whereas n equal to 1. So, we apply Euler's theorem on that of equation. We know that from Euler's theorem, what we find x del f by del x plus y del f by del y is equal to n into f. That was the Euler's theorem. Then x del f by del x del f f that is sin u when you differentiate with respect to x we get cos u into del u by del x plus y again we differentiate with respect to y we get cos u into del u by del y is equal to f where n is equal to 1 that means we get only f. Now, taken common as uh, cos u on both sides, cos u on that of left sides, we get uh, x del u by del x plus y del u by del y is equal to sin u in place of f, right? That is sin u cos u is multiplied on that side. So, when it is taken as in right side that is divided x del u by del x 
प्लस वाई डेल यू बाई डेल वाई इज इक्वाल टू साइन यू डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस यू दैट इज इक्वाल टू टेन यू दैट इज एक्स डेल यू बाई डेल एक्स प्लस वाई डेल यू बाई डेल वाई इज इक्वाल टू टेन यू दैट इज प्रूव In this way, we have studied what is total derivatives and Euler's theorem, and how can we solve a problem by using Euler's theorem. So, with these valuable notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.